everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be trying all of the products that I have here on this box. We have the Sephora Favorites Lips Battle. For the people who don't know me, my name is Leonor. I'm a makeup artist, a makeup lover and a makeup enthusiast. And here in my channel you can always find videos about makeup. Makeup reviews, makeup tips, makeup tutorials. And today I'm going to be testing all of these products that I have in here on this box. We have six products for the lips. I bought this on Sephora, of course, because it's the Sephora favorites. Normally they do this kind of kit and this one is still available and it costs 35 euros and 90 cents. So if you want to try this one and see all of the products that they have in here, you still can. Now if you want to know what I thought about the products uh, that they have on this kit, just keep on watching. As you saw in today's video, I'm going to be testing all of the products that I have here on this box. Some of these products I have already tried, so I already have an opinion about them. The others I haven't tested yet, so what I'm going to do is test them with you guys in here today and see if they are good products. So first of all, what I'm going to do is show you the products that I have in here. I'm going to start with this one in here is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Sweet Candy. This is one of the products that I already have. The other product that I have is this one, that is the Lano Lips 101 Hoyt Treatment, that it's a super bomb. Then I have this lipstick, it's a matte lipstick, it's in the color Inappropriate Red. And it also has this lipstick that it's from Path McGrath. It's also a matte lipstick. It's the color 1995. I also have this gloss in here. It's from Fenty Beauty. It's the gloss bomb in the color Fenty Glow. And last one is this gloss by Sephora. The gloss in the color 130 Independent. So now let's talk about the products. This one, as I told you, is one of the products that I already use. I'm not going to use today because like I use it on the night before I'm doing this video. Uh, before I went to bed, I put it on my lips and when I woke up as usual, when I use this product, my lips feel so soft and I think like this mascara is amazing. I have one like this. I think that it does amazing things with the lips. I don't know what they put in here, but when you go to sleep and then you woke up, your lips, they are not the same, they are just amazing. Then we have the Lano Lips that it's multi-purpose super balm. I have it right now on my lips. I put it while I was doing my makeup so my lips would be a little bit more hydrated before I apply all the lipstick that I'm going to apply next. I normally do this. Normally it's the first product that I put on my face when I'm doing the makeup. Today I forgot. First I did like my foundation and my concealer and then I applied this one and I feel like this one is so, I'm feeling like on my lips, they feel so hydrated. I think that this one is going to be an amazing one for me to have like on my purse or maybe I'm going to put it on my makeup artist kit because I feel like it's so, like it's so hydrating. That's what I'm feeling like on my lips, that my lips are so hydrated right now. They say that this one is 100% natural and it has 101 uses. Uh, it says extreme hydration for extremely dry lips, skin patches, cut cuticles, elbows and more. So we can use this one not only on the lips, like for the first time using it, I'm really liking it and I feel like it's preparing my lips for the other four products that I'm going to apply next. Now in terms of lipsticks, I have these four in here. What I'm going to do is apply a matte one and then apply like one of these on top and then apply the other matte one and apply the other one that I didn't use uh, with the other. Even though this one that is from Fenty, I already have this product and I love it. So I'm going to start with the NARS that it's the Inappropriate red. It's a red lipstick as you can see. I have never tried uh, NARS lipsticks even though I love the orgasm blush and also love the bronzer that they have. The lip products I have never tried so let's see what I think about this product.
so I think the color this red is very beautiful it's like that temporal red really like it I think that it's a beautiful color what I think about like applying this one it felt uh, very dry I don't know maybe because it's matte and it feels like very soft on the lips now that I have it it doesn't feel anything like very dry or anything like that the color is beautiful and like I like to see myself on red uh, but I don't use it as much um, as I should probably because I'm more of a neutral kind of colors. So now I'm going to pick the gloss by Sephora and I'm going to apply it on top of this one. Now that I'm doing this on my lips, I don't know, I feel like uh, little grains. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of the little glitters that they have in here because it has little glitters. Maybe you don't see with um, with a red lipstick. Maybe it's because of that, but I think that it's very soft on the lips, but it doesn't feel very sticky. Normally the lip glosses, when you touch like your lips doing this, they stick so much, and this one doesn't. It kind of reminds me of this one, of the Fenty. For now, these two products, I think that they are amazing. Of course, I want to try them more with their makeups and all of that uh, because I'm not going because I'm going to take it out now so I can do this too. Now let's pass the Pat McGrath lipstick. I'm really excited to try. I wanted to try Pat McGrath lipsticks for a while. So now we have this one in here. The color is beautiful. I hope that you can see and the packaging as well. Now let's apply it and see what I think about the lipstick. So about the Pat McGrath, first the color, like it's my kind of color, this is the kind of color that I like, the news that I have a little bit of pink, it's a very neutral, beautiful color, I love it. In terms of the application, I think that this one was easier to apply than the NARS, I think that this one slides better, even though this one is also a matte lipstick, I think that this formula is more creamy to apply than the other one. Very easy to do like the contour, if we can say that, of what I wanted to do with the lipstick. So I'm really happy with the lipstick. I just want to see the duration of it, if it's a good one or not, but I'm not going to see that today <laughs> because now I'm going to apply the Fenty Beauty Gloss. I'm going to apply mine, the one that I already have open. It's the same color on everything. I think that it's not a good time for me to wear this one now. Um, I'm going to keep it and when this is over, I open the other one. The lips look so beautiful and the Fenty Beauty has a little scent that it's so amazing and like I think that both of them together look very beautiful. My lips look very healthy and glossy. Now that we tried all of the products, I just want to tell you that as I told you, this one, I love it. It's one of my favorite products for lips to do treatment for lips. So I just advise you so much to try this one. The Lano Lips, I think that it's also amazing for us to hydrate our lips. If you are like at home, not having a makeup or anything like that, or if you want to go out and you feel like your lips are very dry, apply this one. I think that it's going to look amazing. Even though I had already put this one on the last night I felt like this one gave my lips even more hydration so I think that this one is also amazing but I'm gonna try this one like when I have my lips to dry to apply it and see how it feels as well. The NARS lipstick I think that the color is amazing. I think that the form is also good and the, the red is just an amazing color. I love this color and even though I'm not a person who who uses much of a red color. When I do, I think I'm going to pick this one because I really liked the color. Even though it wasn't really sliding on the lips when I was applying, I think that it's an amazing product. Except for a gloss, I think like it's a gloss, it's very easy to apply. You just need to apply on the lips. You don't need to have a lot of precision. So it's a good product for what I saw. Of course, I wanna try it without any lipstick 
underneath just to see how it looks as well but as i told you it doesn't feel like very sticky normally the glosses do that and this one i don't i don't feel like it does the pat mcgrath lipstick i think that like all of the ones that i tried i think that this one was my favorite one it has an amazing color as you can see it was very easy to apply i think that this was more easy to apply than this one i feel like this one like slide on the lips to apply so much better so I think that the formula of the Path McGrath lipsticks are very good. I'm, I really liked it. And in terms of the glass bomb, I think that, as I told you, it's my favorite lip gloss. And I have one more, so when this is over, I have this one to use. As you can see, I have to. <laughs> and I think that's it. That's all of the products. I told you what I thought about them. I think that each one of them were worth it. The ones that I already have tried, I love them. The new ones, I want to try them more, of course, and see the duration of them as well, because I haven't saw that yet. <laughs> then I can tell you what I thought about like the duration of the products. And this is the video. Now I want to know what you thought about this one, what you thought about products. If you have already tried any of these products that I have here, and if you like them or if you don't, I want to know everything. So don't forget, go down there. And if you don't want to miss any other videos that I post here on my YouTube channel, don't forget to go down there and click on the subscribe button and also on the ring bell so you can get all the notifications when I upload a new video. If you like this one, don't forget to also click on the thumbs up. And I'm also going to leave down there the other social media that I use if you want to go there and follow me as well. Now we really are on the end of the video. I really hope that you like this one, that you had a good time in here with me today. Thank you so much for watching the video until the end. And now I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!